down about 90 funerals. I go out with American Legion for oh, people yeah. got military, sir. Uh, they want a military, but we go out. I go out there and I either play the bugle, we got an electronic bugle, or I'll fire a rifle. I'll be standing there and I don't even know this person. And I get, just like right now, I get choked up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the guy. You don't need to know them, you know? And when I start talking, I'm going to choke up, I know. Don't yeah. Can you okay. can you erase that part of it? Because I'm serious. I, I'm, I'm very emotional. We can stop the tape, but we can't. Yeah. Right. That, that <laughs> but I am a very emotional person. I think about right. things like just like I told you. We go out fire for a person I don't even know him, and I get choked up. Well, you know, if he if he, if he gets that point, he wants to stop the tape. We can stop it, and then we right. start it again. Okay. All right. I just thought I'd let you know I do get emotional. Well, you're not the only I'm one. writing stuff down and I'm getting emotional. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Did you perform any unusual services or duties? What I talk about? Arlington Cemetery or mm -hmm. yeah, Camp Shangri-La? Yeah. Camp Shangri-La. Yeah. I don't even know how to spell it. Roosevelt's the one that named you Camp Shangri-La. Well, there you go. That's what you put that down. That's got to be. Uh, that's important information. Yeah. And when, he, else and when he got inaugurated in 1948, I was probably as far as from here as to Caitlin from him. Him and Margaret. Little Margaret Truman. Oh. I just finished reading one of her books. I read every book she ever wrote. She oh, writes wow. a, she's a great author. We'll see that. You do have some interesting experiences. <laughs> yeah, for a 17 year old. I was 18 then. <laughs> During World War, when I was up there, they were bringing the World War II veterans back from uh, Europe. They always have they always have films about people in combat, but they don't ever talk about the ones in the background that are do that are providing providing. Did services. you ever realize for every every combat armed man, you got about five guys in back of them supporting him? You see that? You never hear Best that story. Are, I'm not saying that. No, wait a minute. You can, I don't know what the I'd say quartermaster corps. You got the mess stores, the supply sergeant, the people that train them guys, and there's they they claim one time I read it that for every rifleman out there, there's about five people behind trained him and supporting him. Well, see that this is your opportunity. Mitch will probably tell you about that. Or your, your opportunity to let people know that you know, yeah, hey, sure. you know, there are people in. Well, Columbia. I don't want to say something I can't prove. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, who, who can prove anything? Any of their past experiences. Oh man, I could tell them I had a Medal of Honor. Then. <laughs> they ain't going to check me out, are they? Well, that they can probably check on. But I don't. Well, I I threw an M37 fire unit at the enemy, and I burned down <laughs> half a <of> platoon. <laughs> Okay, I'll try and get what I can here, but but like I say, Yvonne, I'm serious about this. I am a very emotional person. Maybe you don't realize it. Maybe I don't show it, but I think a lot of things, and see, I just that's why that's why a lot of the World War II veterans that you talk to, yeah. they don't even want to be interviewed because oh, yeah. of that, you know. So you know, it's like. But I got my friend. I got my friend there, Charlie Mason. He's 79. I'm 78. We're the two oldest guys who go out, and. Uh, I went out with him a couple of times. We go to schools, you know, and the kids they ask you questions. Like, we were at St. Rose, uh, November 11th this year, and we had a ceremony. And we sit there, and the kids put on this big show for us. Mm -hmm. And then we went out in this auditorium, and the kids all come out. They had their fathers cut down uniforms. It's really impressive. The kids, what they did, and then they come out and interview us and ask us. Where you be? Would you autograph this for me and all that stuff? And it's pretty good. All right. Let me get all these bodies back. But I, I got out of the Army, uh, Marine Corps in 1950, and they were still coming back on mass burials. So, are you emotional too? I think I'm emotional too. You know. Are you already? Wait, let me get. Am I on tape? No. Okay. Well, you know. I got it. Let me see. Do I need to print? Whatever's there. But let's finish that so we can just you can just concentrate on um, telling your story too. All right. Let me let me get a couple so I can get out. Right. I'm gonna start right at when I, when I was 17 years old and. You wanna postpone this? No. We can't we can't postpone it.